It's a simple request here of Hugo's Tacos. No mask, no service. But it's a request that's created such an uproar among customers that employees working here no longer feel safe. And that's why the company is now shutting down both its taco stands. The signs went up early on Sunday as Hugo's Tacos is closed indefinitely. But this isn't an unfortunate financial casualty of COVID-19. The problem is the customers. Our staff need a little bit more respect. The head chef for Hugo's restaurants made the decision Sunday morning when his employees told him they no longer felt safe at work. We didn't have a full schedule to work today. And it's because people are afraid. Hugo's Tacos closed yesterday in Atwater Village, posting a sign saying its employees have been harassed for asking customers to cover their faces. When they ask, please wear a mask, they get upset. If they have something on their hands, they will throw water at my employees, which is really disrespectful. Although customers stay outdoors for the entire ordering process, employees feel the current setup doesn't allow for enough social distancing to go mask free. You have to place the water on the window in order to get to get your food. And it's a little different because you close to each other. Hugo's Tacos has been open for the entire COVID closure because they are takeout only, but the defiance is new. It was a surprise for me to to Realize that there's an entitlement of people who demand not wear masks. Customers and neighbors say they support the company's decision. If that's what they had to do to show their customers that it's important to wear masks, I think that's a good thing. But it's not good for the bottom line and hard on the workers who need to support their families. But when you're dealing with a potentially deadly virus, Hugo's Taco says health has to come first. We're trying to be careful and do everything uh, right and and it's really it's really hard. It's not clear how long Hugo's Tacos will remain closed. Right now they say they're taking a break, they're regrouping and they want to make sure they send a message to the community of Studio City and of Atwater Village that the health of their employees is their utmost concern and they're going to remain closed until their customers understand that. From Studio City, Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.